Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel, Kachu with Reno Z, and we're going to cover a little bit of Kachu Mercado and the latest of the Azzurri between Gravina and uh, Roberto Mancini, because pretty much not only Mancini is going to Arabia, some other players that I'm going to be talking about it went to Arabia as well, and I'm going to give you a nice conclusion. Before anything, put a like and subscribe. Um, and uh, if you're interested in this channel, if you're a Juventus fan, like me, a Serie A fan, a Zuri fan, and have a person that loves Italian calcio, this is the best place to be. Let's move on to Calcio Mercado because it's going to be eight days left. Eight days, and there's been... Shocking rumors after rumors after rumors. Some good ones, some bad ones. Let's start with Inter, shall we? Inter just got Sanchez back. Another Minister Escada, which I am not a big fan of Minister Escada because Juventus is top on that. Same with Milan. But why only Italy this? Like, there's so many players in the world that have to get back uh, Sanchez. Like, come on. I know you people think I'm crazy, but... I don't like Minister Serrata. I know he could be better than Correa because they just sold Correa to Marcellus. Correct? But this thing, man, I just don't accept. If the player leaves, leaves. For me, we're bringing back these ex-players, you know. Non va bene. The team will never grow. Ma cazzi che te devo dire? Then the other half about that... Um, um, well, yeah. Pavard, they're still not close to deal because there's other talks as well. But uh, the German boss, Mr. Tuchel, still wants to keep him. So we're going to know in a few days. Di Marzo reported that the Inter could be close. Like the other two days, it was kind of confirmed. But then I was like, because after the summer ditch deal, it didn't seem like close. So I don't know what is going on. Uh, you know, with the uh, Italian culture mercado, we always get the uh, shit in the ass. As much as I don't like it, but you know, quando c'è da dire, c'è da dire. The reality effects. But if it's confirmed, I will confirm to you guys. All right? Which I did post on Instagram. Now I got to change that if, if two days change. So I don't know what's going on. Then, moving on to Napoli. Unfortunately, this kid that they just signed two days ago, Gabri Vega, decided to go to Saudi. And I know a lot of people are pissed off about this because he's a young Argentino, 21 years old. He refused to be with the Campione d'Italia to go to the Saudi for Chichin. Like you're gonna ruin your career, buddy. You might not have a chance to play at the national team if you go to the Saudi. Like these guys, man, we gotta be very, very careful because in eight days in Europe, the Mercado is gonna close. By then, um, by the end of the month, these Saudis are gonna go. And, and the chances are they might take one of our players. It can be Juventus, Milan, or some of the interests that I. I don't know, man. I hope these players can smarten it up and stay in their team. If they love the team, because like I said, nowadays nobody loves La Maglia. And people keep on saying, <laughs> e quelle Juventino, quelle Interista. No, nessuno ama La Maglia. It's all about... <laughs> and it's getting worse and worse with the Saudis. I know people uh, have mentioned that someone, the name of Andrea Agnelli, wanted to stop the situation by putting the Superlega. You know, I'm not a big fan of Andrea Agnelli because he could have done it in a different way. Maybe we could have seen this Super League going and maybe we see better things because like it or not, guys, um, the South is going to take over. They're going to take over Premier League. They're going to take over. It's not going to be like uh, in Tokyo because if these guys are going to get all these players, which now they just got that the national team, Mr. Roberto Mancini. <laughs> There's lots to fear about, my fellow friends, so I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. 
But regards with Mancini, I know a lot of people are mad about Mr. Mancini. I said it and I repeat, Mancini left because he was pressured by the FGG, first of all, Mr. Gravina, because Gravina wanted his players. He did not want the players that he wanted. Don't tell me about the World Cup. It was 100% his fault because it was even Gravina's fault because the guy uh, always like, uh, likes to put his nose in and do the wrong choices, in my opinion. Okay, because did you see since the Euro Mancini went down? Because one, Viali left. Uh, he passed away, unfortunately. And the pressure was him. He was making $3 million a year with the national team. Now he's making $30 million at the Saudi with less stress and everything. Okay? So I don't want to hear uh, this fact because if you people still defending Gravina, and I'm sorry, then... We won't get along here because he's a La Rovina de Calcio, you know? Because him, instead of being a Rufian to be the vice president of UEFA under Sheffer and trying to think about making money, well, okay, you're making this money, well, you bring in the Italian culture, do something good for Italian culture. I'm not too sure about the Barzali Bonucci. I know his staff win, which has seen other names, but I'm not too sure about Buffon and company. Join because I've been looking around, there isn't any confirmation that maybe Balzari, but I don't know about Buffon because he was the one who chose. But they were saying uh, at 50 50, it wasn't 100 percent sure. So I will confirm with that with you later on, guys. Put uh, let me know what your thoughts, leave the comments down below, and what are your thoughts about this situation. If you agree with me or you disagree with me, and we can talk and and uh, talk about this situation because me personally I'm not uh, too excited about this uh, Arabi thing uh, either taking our players and this and that because they can take one of our good players and you know what I mean and uh, yeah it's cultural failing cultural not only Italia all over because of these guys and of course a calcio italiano is a failing thanks to Gravina leave the comments down below Put a like and subscribe, and I keep you updated because we got eight more days to go. But the Calcio Mercado, and of course, some Serie action on the way. Stay tuned because I'm gonna be pumping. Ciao, ciao, e arrivederci. Like and subscribe, ladies and gentlemen. Ciao, ciao.